Hello, this is the first week in Advent, and this is the Friday reading, or day number six, from the Handel's Messiah Family Advent Reader. Here, whoops, there's the book, backwards, but it's uh, Donna Payne and Fran Lenzo. And this particular chapter is called Star of Wonder. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it, based on Isaiah 40, verse 5. Stars are made of many materials, tinfoil stars, paper stars, jewelry stars, plastic stars, musical stars, battery-operated stars, and kid-colored crayon stars. In modern times, the appearance of Christmas stars marks the beginning of a wild buying season. 2,000 years ago, the Christmas star led wise men to look for Jesus. The star of Bethlehem is told only in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. In that record, there are lots of clues about the star and its meaning. Those clues have fascinated astronomers, Bible scholars, and ordinary people for as long as the story has been told. Matthew tells us that the wise men from the east had seen an unusual star that they identified with a newborn king of the Jews. They called it his star. This king was so important that the Magi planned a long, hard, uncertain journey to find him. They were not guided by the star to Bethlehem, but they went instead to Jerusalem, the capital city of the Jews, looking for the new king. Herod, who was the official king of the Jews, and his people were disturbed to hear the wise men's story. Their confusion suggests that they may not have seen the star themselves that it was only noticed by people like the Magi, whose job it was to study the stars. Herod did not like the idea of another king in his kingdom, and he ordered the Jewish priest to tell him where he could find this new king. The priest told King Herod and the Magi about an Old Testament prediction that a ruler would be born in Bethlehem. And so the Magi traveled about five miles south from Jerusalem to Bethlehem, where they found Jesus. Matthew tells us that they set out again. They were overjoyed that as they set out again, they were overjoyed to see the star. It sounds almost as the star had disappeared and it appeared to them again for the last few miles of their journey. Matthew wrote about the star in a matter-of-fact way until the end of the story when he said that as the Magi left Jerusalem, the star went ahead of them and stopped right over the place where the child was. No ordinary star or planet could lead like that. Like a guide with a flashlight directing a group to a dark forest, for this reason, many people believed that the star was a miracle star. Certainly, God could have used a supernatural phenomenon to guide the Magi. Others have thought that the star's appearance was a natural rather than supernatural phenomenon, that God used ordinary circumstances to work his will. One of the oldest and most popular of the natural explanations for the star suggests that it was not a star at all, but a close meeting of two planets as they traveled in their regular orbits. Astronomers call that a conjunction. Around the time that Jesus was born, there was a very rare triple conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn, three meetings in about a one-year uh, time frame. For example, the series of three conjunctions could explain why the wise men seemed to have first seen the star in their homeland, then along the way, and then as they left Jerusalem. What did those travelers from the east really see? Was the star's appearance a special miracle, or was it a comet, supernova, 
star giant, fireball, group of planets, or something else. All of the theories fit part of the clues, some better, some worse, but no theory fits them all. In fact, this year, Jupiter and Saturn are going to be aligned again, right around Christmas time. So look up, folks. Your redemption draweth nigh. In spite of all the uncertainty about what the star was, it was very certain what the star meant. It was something God used to bring wealthy, powerful, highly educated men to meet a baby in Bethlehem. Whatever the Magi saw in the sky filled them with great longing to find the King of Kings. From the first time they saw his sign, they worked and waited with joy and hope for the fulfillment of their search. In that time, the star, his star, the glory of the Lord was revealed to just a few wise men. The star marked the advent of the birth of Jesus. There is another advent, though, another coming. The Bible says Jesus will come a second time. The second advent will not be marked with a star seen by just a few people. When Jesus comes again, the whole sky will be filled with his glory and all humanity will see it together. For now, we are imperfect people living in an imperfect world. All of creation and we ourselves grown inside longing for our salvation. It is coming. This is our hope. After all, the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. <laughs>